uh, obviously tonight we're going to hear some kind of phony numbers. Bloomberg didn't get what he wanted, but he still has an opportunity right now to put his money where his mouth is and to make a huge difference by helping Joe Biden. And that would be quite a legacy for him. And I, I think uh, that's what he's looking at. So once he can kind of have a moment, swallow his pride, um, and get back to work, uh, that would be the best thing for the Democrats. But you see it as a possibility if he wants to spend a billion bucks beating this guy, he could do it. Absolutely. Um, somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. Can you do the math for the rest of us? A million dollars. I've got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it, uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. One minute. Man's practicing fuzzy math again. Bloomberg spent 500 million on ads. U.S. population 327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. I can't let the man continue with fuzzy math. Math. No. Let's talk about Let's math. Talk indeed. about math. Okay. If so here's the math. He could have given each American one million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> One million dollars, and I've had lunch money left over. Man's practicing fuzzy math again. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's true. Um, I think she was talking about my plan, not yours. I think we All were right. talking about math, and it no, doesn't take no, two hours well, to do the math. Because let's talk about let's what talk it adds about. up to. It's disturbing. It does, it does suggest you know, what we're talking about here, which is there, there's too much money in politics. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That said, this is a huge election year. Um, what is at stake is, is existential for the American Republic, but also for many Americans on a personal level. And, uh, you know, Michael Bloomberg still has an opportunity to, to make an impact. And with all this Washington fuzzy math.